Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Pillars of Paternity, the White March, and we are in Long Watch Falls. Our last episode, we ran across an ice dragon in um, in this cave down here, and it beat our butts several times. So I think I'm going to leave it alone for now. I don't know if it's really um, integral to the game or not. And then as I was coming across this area, I suddenly ran across some some enemies and we've been here before I don't I don't get it so that's why I, okay, here we go and I know I came and looked this way before this is odd oh there's a whole bunch of them where'd you guys all come from you come up on this one um how about you do your Delayed fireball on these things over here because I don't, don't think they're gonna move. <laughs> they are moving. <laughs> 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 And this monk never moves, he just sits there. You know, you're right here, go after this thing. Are you even doing anything, Manella? Let's go after him. And he's done. I don't know where they came from. I came through here because there was stuff I picked up. So weird. So weird. Eh? Did I know there was? Hmm. Anyway, so I was looking at the map, and this is a torn pack. Is this what was part of the map? Otherwise, I think we've got everything done here, other than that cave. And like I said, I don't think it's part of any quest. Um, I could go back to stalwart because I've got some things I did do. We do have a spirit here. Okay. So let's look at our map. Which is going to be on our quest items here. The tattered map. So there's a stone, there's blocks. Oh, it's here. There's trees. Yeah, this is not what I was thinking it was. Mm -mm. I was thinking it was that. Um... But it's not. Well, it could be. Is that stones? And trees? No. Because it was. It would have been on this side of the road. Because if the road was like this. And then, yeah, I don't think this is it. But weren't we here before? That's what I don't understand. A few odds and ends lie scattered by the path. There appears to have been a struggle here. But the evidence is half buried under a thin blanket of snow. Wisps of essence hover in the chilly air. Um, also, when I came onto this game, there was an update on um, Steam for this game. So maybe something's got added to it. Which means I'll have to go around to other areas now, maybe? I don't know. Uh, reach out to the essence. The soul pregnant plunges you into a memory. Your name is... I think we've already seen that. You've never been more than 20 miles from home let alone to the White March, yet yeah, you've been climbing stuff. Yeah, we have already seen this. This is about the... Um, I believe this is about the helm. A stranger whose soul mirrors your own, one of the few people in 
Fiora, who could understand the constant torment to a, of a split soul, and the only person who could help you relieve it. Something approaches through the shoulder of snow ahead. You feel a throbbing presence like a heartbeat through linen, and you know. The vision ends abruptly. You find yourself s staring at Yarder's scattered belongings with his elation ebbs from your veins. Hmm. An empty pack lies in the snow. It's been torn nearly in two. Also, muddy tracks turn the ground. It's difficult to dis turn their shape or number, but they appear to lead north. So is this a quest? Mm. The recluse of the White March. Look in the shadows of Dragon. Okay, that's Dragon's battery. We already know that. Um, his better half. Oh, yeah, we need to discover how he died. Chris reminds of young Dragonian who journeyed to the White March looking for his young twin, his soul twin. Whoever killed him didn't. Oh, oh, that's right. That's the Ice Dragon, is the soul twin. So I do have to confront that Ice Dragon. Um, the Gray Sleeper. So this one here. Seek the ruling agent made a copper Audra stone. Awaken first your essence so that you may atone. I think it's the first step in removing the curse. Find your ruling agent a copper Audra and stone. Um, the burden of memory journey to the Abbey of the Fallen Moon. Okay. Overstain his welcome. Okay, that's our other good haul. He's traveling in Scott and expedition was attacked by travel up the mountain toward Durgan's battery. I have to head that way to start looking for all the remains of her expedition. Okay. I'm just um I'm just kind of refreshing myself. I never did the old the Lake and Old song. I don't know about that. Um, in the memory, this is for the grieving mother, the siege, the trials of Durance. Yeah, I think the trials of Durance are going to end up being bad. Um, tasks. Think of the piece of the helm. Okay, find the other pieces of his helm. The gleaming society. Okay, um, as we might be. Okay, right. So I need to go back to Stalwart for some stuff. Oh, yep, in the Thermal Pearl. Return outside of Greaves. Okay, I know where all this is. Bounty. And her sister's better worshippers of Barrett have been spotted in the wild surrounding. Okay, so that's Jurgen's Pass. Sacred Instrument. Track down precious metals. Um, outside of Durgan's battery, I met the head fisherman of Stalwart, he's a gruff fellow, but he seems to take a lot of pride in his role. So what is the fisherman's penance? What the heck is that? Hmm. The Galapian exile has been... Okay, this is um, something in the other songs. Okay, so I need, do need to go back to Stalwart. And I have to confront that dragon. Hmm. I hope there's something I didn't pick up over here. Okay. Um, I think I need to how do I get out of here up here? Oh, I could be able to should be able to do down here too. Yep, I can right there. So we're gonna go to stalwart. Wherever that's at, here it is. The next stop will be Durgan's Battery, then. I need to get some camping supplies anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm out. Alright, come on. Alright. So I need to go to Grips. This is the fishery. Fishery. Uh, no, that's... That's... Okay, the Griffs is here. 
let's stop here and see if he has any. I can't remember if he has any camping stuff. Because I'm down to one. Um, show me what you have for sale. Don't think it would be that. Oh, here we are. Yep. So I need three. I have a lot of stuff to sell, but I'm not going to worry about it. I got so much money. Um, do I need a pry bar? How about a torch? You never know when you're going to need this stuff, so I'll just go ahead and do it. And then we need to go to up here, and the other place is, I think it's somebody wandering around, if I remember right. Um, return to outside the griefs, right, okay, I know, okay, so that's, we need to go here. You should be just wandering around. Yep, there he is. I've um, been keeping an eye on town here. You uh, found anything out near Long Watch for me? He cops into his hand. Show him the... This came out of the thermal... Oh, okay, so he's also part of the Gleam. Okay, the Gleam Society is no more. Plenty of folk would be happy to hear it. Last thing we need out here is another big war. Take this. He gives you a bag of coins. Stalwart, moderate, positive. Okay. Also lost a head. Gained experience. Um, so that pearl, th um, the thermal pearl you saw was really um, an egg. He looks past you and sees the creature waddling through the snow. His jaw flaps silently for a few seconds. I've never seen one so small. But the little fellow looks downright tame. He scratches his head. How about I buy it from you? The performers that pass through would take it, take an interest in something like this. He bends down to look at the squirming lagophat, lag, lagophat, whatever it's called. Don't do it! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, eat her nose. Um, I'll sell it you for 100, 500 pounds. No, no, I think I'm keeping him. Whatever you say, just watch your fingers when he gets big. I'm still looking for someone to take care of those dangerous folk roaming in the area, if you're up to it. I already did. Very well. Bounty of the Gleam in Society, so we already did that. I claim the bounty. A piece of... Oh, um... Okay, so Grieving Mother traveled and inquired all over the Eastern Reach to track down the missing monks. One by one, the monks came across Grieving Mother's path in a variety of forms, some kilt, some beast, some in unique forms. Having apparently forgotten why they had set out on their meditation, the monks engaged Grieving Mother in a protracted series of philosophical conversations. And ultimately, each monk traveled back through the mental labyrinth they had created, triggering sp a spontaneous realization and subsequent molding, molting back into their or original form. When they had all returned to their monastery, they presented Grieving Mother with a chime. The chime. Each monk had donated one of the chime's 12 bells to the final instrument. Well, it was good then that we send it to her, since she's the one that has the chimes. The looking inward chime. Hmm. Invisible. Immune to engagement. This beautiful chime was created by the twelve monks of the... Okay. Oops, that's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. So, one major item. And then we have this, task completed, the Dermal Pearl. He offered to buy the 
but I decided to keep it. Yeah, I decided to keep it. Okay, uh, and there it is right there. All right, so there's, I think that was all of our quests here then. Um, yeah, the helm, Delta Jurgen's battery, sacred instrument. So let's go talk, go back to the fishery, because I'm not sure why there's even something there for that. Right? Why does he even have a quest? I, I thought it odd that we even went in there to begin with. But we, I mean that we went in there, but nothing happened while we were in there. Just talk. So maybe we talk to him again. Something will show up. Fishery's closed for the night. Oh, is it now? Okay. Yeah. No problem. So... What does this all entail, I wonder? So where is he at? Interesting. There are villagers, villagers. Villagers. Be careful in the Durgans, yeah. Hmm. These are all villagers. It makes no sense to me. What's going on here? Well, we know where we're going. We have to go to Durgan's. So we got the long... That went to rust, rusted wood. Deer wood. Durgan's battery. So we could use any of them, but might as well go this way. So here we go, Durgan's battery. And I thought there was something like um. Hmm. It would take eight hours. So do I get to wander around it first? Okay, quest updated, a good haul. Travel up the mountain to Durgan's battery. Uh, find the limited and perilous artifact. Fira's a traveling scald and Okay, so according to Fira, she lost her artifacts and her companions when she was attacked by when I find the, these creatures, I'll know her goods are nearby. Okay. Alright, so let us see. Cool. And what was I just thinking about? Eh? Got it. Let's go this way first. Okay. Anything up in here? going anywhere. I just wanted to look, see if anything else came up on the map, but it did not. Okay. So this is about... Okay, so we've got some deer up here. So this is the only place I can think of that would be left 
for the map, right? Cold. All right, I don't see anything here. The Durgan's battery is probably going to be where that road is leading to, so let's go back over here. Scout the area first. There's some more deer, elder stags. Can I talk to any of them? A whole bunch of them sitting there. What's that? A pig in the ground. Oh. Would you look at that? Why are they attacking me? You just killed my little iguana thing. Whenever you go after these bodies or something, then these, um... Whenever you go after these bodies, everything that was friendly around you suddenly becomes mean! Yeah. So what I got? Stag stuff. Okay. No problem. So let's go over here. Oh, he's stabbed. He's. Ooh, we got a ring. Ring of protection. Uh, I think this is better than some of the other ones. Ring of thorns. I don't think you guys have any rings. So go ahead and take that. Nope, nothing still shows up. Okay. Eh? Got it. up in here? Nope. I'll have it over here. Even though they killed you, you came back, didn't you? My little lizard thing or whatever the hell it is. Okay. So I guess we have no choice to go that away now. Yeah. That is interesting with that hole up there. Oh, makes a terrible screeching noise. The compass points west. Okay. Um. Journal. What was the task? I believe it was. <clears throat> the task? Uh, wasn't that? There it is. Um. <clears throat> okay, so at the crossroads, her device points west. So I guess that's the direction we are going to be going. Is it just a stone wall over here? Get my group over here. Hmm. Oop, we got some ice. Yep, we got some spirits. You know there's more than one. 
There always is. Yep. Oh, let's get you off of here. I can't, can I? Um. You go after this one here. Tell me! You guys just stand there. Yes, you did. Okay. Yeah. We got money and lock picks. My eyes are peeled. Yep, they did. Okay. Oh, there's something up here. This as far as it goes, it looks like it does. Alrighty. All right, group, let's go. Eh? To the west, young man, to the west. Oh, we got some Craig ogres that I can speak to. And looks like there's a body here. Okay, let's go ahead and save. The stench. Even worse Behind than dead, us. Baragon spoke of this one. Okay, so what do we have? We've got a chanter, a cannoneer, a winter wolf, Craig. I wonder if he's who we have to talk to. Now the villagers will leave, it, leave us, yes? Okay, yes, we will. We go to the battery for... for Cannons. Okay. Run along, little mouse. We go to the battery for cannons, but only when we must. Okay. So, if I had come here first without speaking to the matron, we would have had a fight. Okay. I get that now. So, are you going to be on the map? Nope. Nothing special on the map. All right. But yeah, if I hadn't spoken to the matron... Oh. Help! Somebody help! Okay. Help! Please! I'm down here. Standing on a narrow outcropping far below the edge of the chasm, a villager waves his arms frantically. Hmm. The villager is well out of reach, and the unknown slick surface of the chasm would prove difficult to climb by hand. Tie a rope around your waist and anchor it. Tie a rope around Eater's waist. Uh, I think Eater would be the strongest of us. Peter has a solid grasp. Peter has a solid grasp of knots and steps forward to secure the line with a sturdy knot. You lost an item, rope and grappling hook. Well, I'm glad I brought one, huh? The trapped man presses himself against the chasm wall. Please hurry! The ice is starting to crack. Looking down, Eater can see another smaller ledge further up along the side of the chasm. It is close enough to jump to, but it may not be able to support much weight. Jump down onto the nearest ledge. No, let's have him climb down. Eater takes firm hold of the rope and cautiously climbs down toward the ledge. There is an ominous crunch as the ice ships somewhere below. The trapped man lets out an alarmed cry, Hurry! On the ledge, Eater takes a moment to survey the surroundings. Several sections of the cliffside below appear to be coated in sheets of ice, like windows set into the side of the chasm. The thin ice is pocked through with air bubbles, and moving too quickly across the surface could cause it to shatter. Um, the thin ice is poked, pocked through with air bubbles and moving too quickly. So let him rappel down. 
Peter takes firm hold of the rope, gives it a few tugs to ensure it's still holding fast, and leaps away from the ledge. Eater is making good distance, only to end up swinging boots first towards what appears to be a sheet of ice along the chasm wall. Eater's feet crash through, and a cluster of icy shards come crashing down. The villager yelps in pain as he's buffeted by debris. Oh, okay, I did that wrong. As Eater struggles free of the hole in the chasm wall, the wind begins to pick up. The freezing gusts tug fiercely at Eater's clothing, howling past. Let's take shelter in the gap. Eater takes refuge in the crevice. Several long moments pass before the winds finally calm. In the lull that follows, Eater presses onwards. At last, Eater comes to within arm's reach of the trapped villager and extends a hand toward him. When Eater's hand is mere inches away, the outcropping beneath the trapped man's feet suddenly, suddenly shudders and gives way, and he starts to fall. Dive after him. Eater drops down towards the falling man and reaches him just in time. The rope around Eater's waist brings both parties to a painful stop. Eater grabs hold of the man and hoists him up. The villager wraps his arms tightly around his rescuer. Sections of the outcrop and begin to crumble away into the darkness below. Passenger in tow, Eater begins the ascent. We should be pulling him up, too. With every upward movement, the man on Eater's back cries out in pain. Eater feels his grip loosening. Call up for help above. Familiar faces peer over the side of the chasm and then move away to pull at the rope. Eater keeps a firm grip on the rope and is pulled easily up to safety. And that's just what should have, they should have done anyway. Oh, thank you. I've been down there for so long I thought I was done for. I'm heading back to town. Watch your step out here. Hmm. So what did that do? Oh, no. What did that do? Did we um, get some kind of a... Uh, Quickly and quietly. We didn't even get like a... Um, that is pretty cool. All right. Yeah, we didn't even get any kind of um, like positive thing. All right, so we really had no choice but to go up this road. I see that now. We're being forced to go one way. There's something there. Oh, there is. What's there? Wow, I almost didn't see that. Okay. Hmm. Got it. Ah, is another one of those things? Is it going to make the... didn't. I thought maybe it would make it go off, but it didn't. Okay, so what's up here? <laughs> well, we know we have to go to the west, so let's go over here to the east. Scope this area out. Alright, let's bring my party up. Ah, there's wolf companions. <clears throat> Someone we can talk to? It looks like there is. I'm sure. Oh, it's not considered stealing, really? Hmm. Hello there. Always good to see more kith on the road. You can relax for the time being. Ingot here will let me know if any ogres come up on us. Okay. Ought to be heading down the mountain soon, but I've still got some supplies if you need anything. Oh. Hmm. So who are you? Name's... Target? Terragir? 
I come up to Stalworth sometimes to trade. Nothing fancy like uh, Yodora has. Just supplies, ingredients. Came out here to get some air after the raid. Never been much of one for towns. So which way to Durigan's battery? You're one of those, huh? Just follow the road north, then west, across the bridge. You'll know it when you see it. I'm sure we will. Have a care. Lagatheth moved into the area not long ago, and they're already made short work of a few caravans. Yeah, we've heard that. <clears throat> so do you know a man by the name of Galbino? I think everyone knows Galbino. He has a cabin a little ways north of here. You'll want to follow the road a ways, then head into the trees. Hmm. Don't go too far north, though. Got bandits crawling all over the road into the pass. Sure, but if those lizard things are all over, shouldn't they have gotten taken care of the bandits? Do you know anything about bandits in the area? Sure do. Most of the caravans have to take the one road down into the pass. Group of bandits that have shopped just north of here before the bend. They'll just take a toll on good days, your head, most others. I keep clear of them myself, and they don't usually come down the mountain. Hmm. Do you know anything about the caravan that came through here recently? Say, saw what was left of it anyway. You can find a few of the wagons just up the steps, if you head toward the battery. He points to the northwest. Everything keeps going to the north. Hmm. Thought I'd have a look in case there was anything to salvage, but they dragged everything they could carry across the bridge. Out of my reach, for sure. Well, let me see what you have for sale. Sure. I have a feeling that he's going to have... Um, <clears throat> well, he's got a lot of exceptional stuff, doesn't he? Yeah, I figured he would have camping supplies. Um, how much do I have? I have... Oh, I've got so much money. Let's just go ahead and take these. Um, exceptional male armor, hide armor. No, I, I didn't want that. Um, I think most of ours are already pretty much that way. Battle axe, large shield. We don't have anyone that has large shields. All right. Okay, so everything is pointing us to the north and the west. But we do have a little bit more area up here to look into. My eyes are peeled. Oh, there's a way out. Which goes nowhere. I have a feeling this will fill in on the second half of the White March. I'm thinking. That's my thought anyway. Yeah. And now I know where to go and get some camping supplies. Okay, another way out. I see something up here. Hmm. Got it. I wonder if this is where that cabin is. Yes, it is. This is the cabin. Um, portion. Lifting up a corner of the tarp reveals a jumble of rusted metal alongside of the firewood. Hmm. So she'll be going to talk to this hermit guy. Yep. I can't remember what we were here for, what we need to talk to him about. Let us see. Let us see, let us see. All right, let's see what this looks like inside. Galbinos. No, it doesn't say not stealing, so. The Recluse of the White March. Uh, 
told me I can find Galdino and Eccentric Smith in Animancer, east of Durigan's Battery. Aldrich believes he may have something useful to tell me about the keep. I found Galvino's hump, but I don't see him here. Perhaps it's worth looking around. Well, and I just discovered something, right? I did. Okay. I better put my scouting on. Look at this. There! Done! All right. Oh, there's stairs no going problem. down. No problem. Okay. This map depicts the, pa the peak of the mountain with markers denoting altitude. Well, he's hiding and another trap Would detected. Look at this. He's pretty leery, isn't he? He's food. That is just right of youthful spirits. I never use any of this stuff. Okay, so we have stairs going down. Right? That's what I'm seeing here. It's not showing up on here, though. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right, well, here's his basement. Looks bigger than his house. Lots of bigger than his house. Yeah, lots bigger than his house. This is his workshop. So he spent a lot of time digging this out, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Eh? You know there's going to be traps. Yep. Would you look at this? Okay. And then we have... A misshapen construct. Okay, and another trap. All right. Would you look at this? All right. You guys going to see us or not? Change to my Okay. He already saw us anyway, so it really wasn't necessary, but whatever. <laughs> All right, everybody, the rest of you, come on. You Zawa is it's ready. Hi. Got him. Got Trap. Okay. And you're just sitting there. Okay. And eh? there's a trap. There, done. Okay. What do we have in here? Money. Potion of. All right, doesn't mean much. And is there something here? Hmm. and not be seen. So we have a, gen a gl gluttonous green film has congealed <clears throat> along the bottom of this shattered machine. Okay. These crates hold innumerable discarded mechanical fingers or hinges, I'm sorry. Face plates and limbs. Okay. We got something over there. 
potion of power. What does that do? <clears throat> All right, nothing major. Stuff that I never do. So there's a door here. Okay, let's go back over here first. Okay, another trap. Would you look at this? All right, so I don't think there's anything in that room. I have a feeling. Since we're here, let's do this first. Start, we start wandering off all over. Okay, people, it's coming with me. Eh? Okay, we have an unstable construct. So you know if there's one, there's going to be more. Oh, yeah. Come on, people, let's go fight. Ah! Are we done? Okay, I guess we are. Yeah. Got a little hurt that time. My eyes are peeled. All right, yep. somebody's in the way. All right. So what's over here? Hmm. Okay, so we have Stoward on me, and we have a subject roster. This paper contains a loose list of apparent pers personages separated by dates. Orange Falls Bandit. Some smuggler, murderer, nice hair, idiot who tried to knife me, Ehrlich, under the list is a note in a different hand, the Beerus devil has given me numbers, the Beerus devil just give me numbers. So this is his hit list? Hmm, interesting. Is that um, a quest item? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Is that a quest item? No, it's not. Okay. Hmm. No, I didn't want that. Yeah. I just wanted her. As you know, okay, we have something over here. A burning flesh construct. That sounds interesting. Very interesting indeed. Let's go! Oh yeah, they knew there was one more. Push me back, why don't you, okay? Alright, you need to do some of your bouncing Betty things. Where are we at? Um, yep. You guys are just sitting there. Lava <laughs> room! Up on my okay. Eh? What we got here. All right. So 
My eyes are peeled. Sure. What's down here? That looks nasty. That looks really nasty. Vicious green liquid seeps from a crack in the glass tank. It, e it exudes a strong chemical odor that is almost painful to inhale. Yeah, just stepping on it makes me flinch. Is he experimenting on people out here? Why is the game paused? Um, enemy spotted. Where? Oh, up there. Okay. And we got a trap. Okay, that's fine. Disarm it from two over there, didn't I? Cool. Being here just standing there. Lead the way. Take that! Okay. Ooh, and I spied something. Would you look at the We have more enemies? Come on, over here. My eyes are peeled. Let's see what's up in here. Oh, okay. No problem. And we have another door, too. Let me out, someone says. Okay. And a trap. Did we go into this one? No, we didn't. Wow, this is a labyrinth. Okay, let me save. On what time is it? Yep, it is time to close down this episode. And when we come back, we'll be going in this door. Uh, I think it looks going to require a lock pick. Plus, we found the secret entrance over here. So, I think we'll do the secret entrance first. I don't think this is going to go anywhere. And this door could go somewhere else. But we know we got a whole bunch of stuff over here too, maybe. I'm assuming. This could actually lead on off down here, it's hard to say. But anyway, if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.